Do you track progress on bodybuilding movements or just go to failure? If you come from a powerlifting background, everything becomes way more analytical. My advice to you, don't look at movements as either bodybuilding or powerlifting movements. Simply look at them as just compound movements, movements that require multiple joints. And for those movements, they're usually in the beginning of your workout and will often dictate the flow of the rest of your training. For example, if you go absolute ham on the hack squat, your strength or overall work capacity might be compromised later down the workout, say if you hit an ending exercise like an isolation leg extension, there's a good chance you're gonna have to regress some of the loading or overall volume to prevent junk volume. Track your compound movements, track the order of your compound movements, and base your isolations on the context of your overall training session. And unlike powerlifting, loads are not that important to track.